Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, we will respond to a video uploaded by uh, this Christian apologist, Rob Christian. The title of the video was Mr. Adnan Rashid attacks the Apostle Paul. Very backfires. Well, I agree with the last bit of the of the title, which is um, then it backfires. Let me show you that Peter the Apostle, Allah, and the Prophet of Islam confirmed Paul's writings to be actual scripture. Wow, he's claiming to have evidence that Allah Azzawajal and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu confirmed that Paul's writings were scripture. Can't wait to see the evidences, so let's go to that bit directly. But in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3244, we find out that according to the Prophet of Islam, Paul's writings are the inspired words of Allah. Read with me. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger said, Allah said, I have prepared for my pious slaves things which have never been seen by an eye or heard by an ear or imagined by a human being. Wait a second, these are the words of Paul the Apostle and here is my proof. In the letter of Paul to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 2.9 we read, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, no ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Did you catch how Allah plagiarized the very words of Paul the Apostle? That means Paul's writings or letters must be divine scripture from Allah, according to the logic of Islam. Did you see the evidence? Mm, they are doing it again. I always say to these Christian polemicists that they shouldn't be throwing shubhat against their own religion. Uh, let me address the point now. Suppose these were the words of Paul um, and we find them in the hadith. There will be a problem if these words were something that only Paul could have known or could have said. For example, if he narrates a story, an incident that happened to him. Um, but if you are talking about um, what God has prepared for mankind in heaven or in hell, uh, that is something, if, if, if we believe in Islam, if we believe the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, then we believe that this, this teaching has been taught for eternity. For eternity. Since Allah Azza created mankind, He should have told them that we have prepared for you this and this and this. So I wouldn't be surprised if I find this in Christianity, if I find this in Hinduism, if I find this in the ancient Egypt, Persia. Because if that was the main message that Allah Azzawajal prepared this and this and this for people in heaven. So this will be known by so many people in different civilizations, in different cultures. The problem with Rob Christian argument is that it is self-refuting and it's always posing and creating a shubha against Christianity. It is self-refuting because even in the text that Rob Christian showed, even Paul doesn't claim that these words are his. So it is very clear that Paul is quoting something. You refute your own argument by showing this verse in the Bible. So even before me making this video, your argument was debunked by, your, by the same evidence that you provided. Paul is saying, as it is written. So this is Paul quoting something. So if Paul is quoting something, that means that this is not his words. So he isn't inspired, he's just quoting. I feel sorry for you because most of your audience are Christians, so they are, some of them are expected to know this, so you are in a very embarrassing situation, Rob. Here's the shubha, here's the dilemma that Rob Christian put himself and put Christians in. Uh, we have just established that these were not the words of Paul, because he's saying as it is written. Now, this as it is written is obviously referring to a divine source. A divine scripture the Bible in this case the Old Testament I mean think about it why would Paul quote non divine scripture when talking about what God promised mankind 
So the minimum requirement for being inspired, if you want to claim that when Paul said these words, he was inspired by God, the minimum requirement for being inspired by God is at least to be able to differentiate between divine scripture and non-divine scripture. And here is the question. Paul is saying, as it is written. My question is, what is Paul quoting here? These words are not to be found in the Bible. So the question is, where is this text in the Old Testament? If Paul is not quoting the Bible, what is he actually quoting? Isn't this similar to your argument that, oh, Allah said that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is mentioned in the Bible. Where in the Bible do we find Prophet Muhammad? Farid, tell me, where do I find Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in the Bible? This is, however, is not a dilemma for us because we can say that the Bible is corrupted. But can you make the same claim, Rob? <laughs> I don't think you can make the same claim. Because you believe that the Bible is not corrupted. You believe that the Bible is preserved. Let's read some theories suggested by early Christian theologians. We read in this commentary, for example, um, and I quote, The words are found in the apocryphal books of Elijah and Origen and Jerome suppose that Paul quoted from those books. Origen, however his name is pronounced, um, uh, was an early Christian theologian, 2nd to 3rd century Christian theologian. And he believed that Paul was quoting from apocryphal books. Books which are not in the canon today. Books that were rejected by the Christian theologians. Books that you yourself deem unreliable. Let's read, for example, in the uh, Gospel of Thomas, as uh, uh, verse 17. Jesus said, I shall give you what no eye has seen, and what no ear has heard, and what no hand has touched, and what has never occurred to the human mind. Sounds familiar, right? Oh yeah, but Thomas, the Gospel of Thomas was written after the uh, Corinthians 2.9. I don't want to get into this very lengthy debate. Let's make it very simple. The same wordings in Corinthians 2.9 exist in the Gospel of Thomas. Let's say that the writings of Paul precedes the Gospel of Thomas. At least you can agree that both of them are quoting from the same source. So let's talk about this source that they are both quoting from. Either it is a divine source or it is a non-divine source. In terms of this quotation, either they are both right or they are both wrong. If the source is non-divine, then they are both wrong. And Paul is debunked as, quote-unquote, inspired by God. Because then he won't be able to differentiate between divine and non-divine scriptures. And if you would say that the source is divine, then that means the Bible is debunked because in that case, the apocryphal books could be in some cases, by your own admission, more accurate than the Bible you have today. So which is it, Rob? What is it that you want to debunk today? Do you want to debunk Paul as inspired by God or do you want to debunk your canonized Bible? Oh boy! That is a disaster for the Christian Ummah. Now let's summarize with these questions to Rob. Question number one. Why did you lie and claim that these are the words of Paul? When Paul himself says in Corinthians 2.9, quote, as it is written. Question number two. Where is this verse in the Bible? Question number three. What is Paul quoting here? Question number four. Which is more accurate here? The Gospel of Thomas, which says that Jesus said those words, which exist in 1 Corinthians 2.9, or the canonized Gospels, which doesn't mention anything about this? To rephrase the question, could the apocryphal Gospels be, in some cases, more accurate than the canonized Gospel? 
question number five. If the apocryphal gospels can never be more accurate than the canonized gospels, then how do you justify the fact that Paul is quoting something which doesn't exist in the Bible, in the whole Bible, all the New Testament, while at least the Gospel of Thomas includes a saying of Jesus which resembles that in Corinthians 2.9. Do you think that Paul is wrong here? Do you think that Paul cannot differentiate between divine and non-divine scriptures? Try answering these questions without committing a contradiction. It's an impossibility. And thank you so much for watching. I will come back and I will refute you, Rob Christian. I will show you. I will show you. Just wait. Just wait. Oh boy. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.